everything is always working out for me. It's what I tell myself all day. I do mean it. And usually, usually. No, I just keep telling it? myself that. Yeah, no. So, so what we're asking is there are some decks of affirmation cards out on the tables. And for a while, we would bring a random deck to the stage and we would read one of the affirmations and then we would point out how much we didn't believe that speaking as if we were speaking for you like i am the creator of my own reality yeah sure i am <laughs> things are always working out for me yeah sometimes when you use an affirmation like things are always working out for me you're standing in a posture of wanting to use those words to make them work out and we're just wanting to highlight the distinction between saying them because that's how you feel right then and if you let your posture be watching for moments in time when you really feel it and that's when you affirm it rather than trying to affirm it to make it happen it's a big big difference because when you try to affirm it to make it happen you're actually affirming the absence of it because the universe isn't hearing your words only your vibration well, I think when I say it first thing in the morning, I'm not thinking about things that aren't working out. So it's sort of setting myself up. And, so and then I've started to become conscious of really reaching for more. And sometimes that affirmation isn't even enough for me. And I want something more charged and more vibrant. And so anyway, here's my question. But before you give it to us, because there's a little cleaning up that we want to do here. Okay. So, and it's all really, really good. You said, I've turned a corner. And we want to say there aren't any corners. There's just in any moment moving with the flow toward who you really are and what you really want or not. And when it feels like you've turned a corner, what you mean is I've been leaning in the direction of what I want so that there's enough momentum and now it feels easier. There aren't any corners, really. I'm either leaning toward what I want. I'm either satisfied or dissatisfied. I'm either in alignment or in some state of resistance. I'm either going with the flow or I'm going against the flow. Good clarification. Yes. Okay. So I think what I'm asking for is some fine tuning in the, you know, the third step, because now as I go about my day, I'm always seeing, I, I know that what's good and what's bad about any situation or circumstance or moment is always available to me. So I choose what's good about it. I choose to focus my attention on, on what feels most on what satisfying. Feels, yes. So my question is, is that enough to just keep focusing on things that feel good and keeping my vibration up? Or should I be focusing my attention on, you know, the things that I want, the goals I want to achieve? Well, you see, your question is wonderful because you can almost hear the answer in the question. So we want to replay a little bit about what we've been talking about here. If you accept that you've already had your step one moment and hear these words you did all your creation in step one sit with that for a minute the contrast that you lived that's when you did the creating and you put it in the vortex and it's done it's so done that your inner being is there enjoying it and reveling in it you already did it now in order for you to enjoy it further you want what's in this vibrational reality to come out and play with you you want it to come in the form of ideas and thoughts and impulses and rendezvous and good timing you don't just want it to explode and be done you think you do but you don't you really want the fun along the way the joy is in the journey the conscious creation of it and so when you settle in to the knowing that it is done and then you put all of your emphasis upon being in the receiving mode which means finding satisfaction now hear this you're about to have a sort of breakthrough with this so if it hasn't manifested yet and so in your mind and in the mind of a lot of humans it's still absent rather than present and so it feels to you that you need to do your human action oriented thing which is just give more attention to it the question that we ask you is if you are capable of giving attention to it from your vortex view then yes do it but if in giving your attention to it it's from the it hasn't happened yet point of view then it's completely counterproductive the other day we were talking with a man he was talking about a barbecue contraption that he's invented that he's wanting to get to market we asked the audience and they could feel that as he was presenting it to us even though he was using positive words and was bright and shiny as he was presenting it it was clear that 
it felt like it wasn't moving and that he needed to know what to do about it and we wanted to point out that all conversations when you feel like that just reaffirm where you are and so trying harder doesn't work shouting it louder doesn't work it just holds you in the vibration of the absence of what you want or holds you in the vibration of the unwanted longer so we said to him this was the clarifying sort of breakthrough moment of that day we want you to find satisfaction but you don't have to find it about the barbecue you could find satisfaction about being at the beach you could find satisfaction about being in this lovely country as our friend said you could find satisfaction about so many things Esther used her go-to to find satisfaction was to think about the treehouse if she ever just wanted her mind to bliss out she would just move her thoughts toward the finding of the spot the constructing of the treehouse the men who spent so much time in it building it that they never wanted it to end so it just got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and more and more and more because it was such a playful fun project for them and there's the treehouse was a easy go-to for her it always lined her up always felt satisfaction when she thought about the treehouse she always feels satisfaction when she thinks about her grandchildren she always feels satisfaction when she thinks about her California Beach you have these go-to's where you know it's a sure thing that you're gonna find satisfaction so if you've done step one banged around and created something and source and your inner being and law of attraction have done step two and got it all lined up and your job is step three then should you think about the thing that isn't done yet don't you run a risk of activating the absence of what you want if you stay hammering away at this thing that hasn't been created yet don't you start asking questions like what's taking so long where if you accept that you have done it step one step two all you got to do is find some reason as often as you can to feel satisfied to be under the influence so that you can then get on with what you came for you didn't come here to create you came here to be a creator you didn't come for the creation you came for the creating you came for the moment by moment alignment the moment by moment impulse isn't it so much fun to get an idea don't you like an idea don't you like the freshness of an idea before you kill it with reality <laughs> don't you just love the feeling of a fresh idea as the idea expands and becomes more and then when you rendezvous with someone else that kind of wants to talk about some of the same things isn't it satisfying as it comes along do you know that so close to a hundred percent of all of your creations whether it is your relationships anything that is on your list of things that you desire so close to 100% that we want to call it 100% it is just ever so slightly not 100% but so close to 100% that that's a better all of that creation is complete before you see any physical evidence of it so you've got an idea for a business you've created it but once you actually get the building and, and have to paint it and insure it and staff it and organize it and clean it then you start introducing resistance into the subject of your creation such a wonderful thing that it got such a head start before it became a manifestation that's one way of looking at it you didn't rise to that in the way that we want you to we want you to feel the importance of all of your creations that are coming along so that there's satisfaction even before you see it or hear it or smell it or taste it or touch it because it feels satisfying the idea of it is satisfying you say this is really powerful advanced conversation about creating this is really fine-tuning about creating every subject is a stick with two ends on it and you have a practiced so far on each subject and they're different with each of you proclivity for one end or the other some things it's so easy for you to believe some things it's harder for you to believe and the more your society accomplishes things then the more you believe that it's possible each one of you who comes up these steps no one has stood and said I wonder if the step will hold me and as you sit down most of you just sit right down you're confident that this chair is gonna hold you because you've seen enough evidence of it it's something that you believe but you believe things that do not serve you just as well and this is what we're wanting to help you sort out we want you to know that your inner being knows what you want and your inner being also knows what you believe but your inner being doesn't focus upon what you believe your inner being only focuses upon what you desire so your inner beings vibration is always pure so if you are 
100% of the time caring about your own personal satisfaction, then you're always leaning in the direction of your alignment with your inner being who really knows. And now those impulses and even words and ideas will flow right into your mind. You've been in the receiving mode so many times and you don't even know it. You've been under the influence of your own inner being so much of the time and often you don't even know it. And this conversation all day here today is about helping you next time it happens to know it. So trying too hard is always trying to make it happen from the wrong end of the vibrational stick. And so many things that so many teachers, even many of the processes that we have offered have been in your request to, I feel like this, what should I do? And so we've offered processes to help you move the feeling, but it is so the hard way of going about it. If you can just accept the simple and accurate premise that you've already created and all you got to do is line up with what you've created, which simply means if you don't believe it, then stop thinking about it. There it is. If you don't believe in your own desire, then you've got to stop thinking about it because your inner being does believe in it and will inspire you to whatever it takes for you to get it. That's why you have the potential of being surprised and delighted all along the way. That's what makes you say, I think I turned a corner. I'm seeing something a little different than I've seen it before. Well, what's happened is you've just relaxed your habit of thought enough that you're starting to see it from that broader perspective more. Does that make sense to you? I think so. And so now what? Oh, and so you sort of went in a direction that was towards my second question. So I don't know if talk about it. So, okay. So I have a lifelong dream of doing a certain creative project, but I'm not doing it. All right, so now just stop there. How does that feel to you? <laughs> I've got this lifelong dream that I am not moving towards. So we've got a whole bunch of processes that you need to do that will just reinforce that it's not getting done. Okay, so there's a part of me that trusts that what I'm looking for in order to, to do this is inspiration and just have it be flowing. Right now. Right. How big is that part? Every now and again, that part shows itself to me. Every now and again, when I'm not thinking about it, when I'm getting satisfied about other things, it sneaks up on me. And for just a moment, I believe it for a moment. But when I really think about it, I trample it with reasonable thoughts that are flawed premises. It's true, isn't it? So keep talking. Okay, so let's start this. So out. what I have been looking at do her words sound familiar in other words lifelong dream we have some questions for all of you and we're not mocking you well we are a little bit <laughs> so a lifelong dream does that sound like an important thing or an unimportant thing a lifelong dream does that sound harder or easier a lifelong dream so let's use all the words I've got this lifelong dream now we'll say the words that you really mean that if it doesn't happen I'll just curl up and die we exaggerated a little bit but a lifelong dream I've had this dream for my whole life and it hasn't happened yet a lifelong dream is a dream that's so big that I intend to keep it alive even though I don't get it year after year after year after year after year after year so that's and, my right but what we want you what, so what I'm saying is but what we want you to get from all the antics that we're offering up here what we want you to get is I'm a creator that is flowing toward a never-ending stream of new ideas of what I want. There is no such thing as a lifelong dream. What there is, is a continuing stream of new ideas that keep becoming cooperative components of others. As you've lived life, you've put a lot into your vortex and they're all swirled together and they are cooperative components one to another. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next